Greetings gamers, I'm Pemby66, welcome to my video game channel. Um, a part of, as part of my um, Old Games Revisited series, I recently acquired Crisis 2 for the price of £10. And I, I've been getting into the campaign a, a good way through it, but I, last today and last night I had a good go at the mul multiplayer. I found I could rank up really quick, but one thing that stri strikes me about Crisis 2 over Crisis 3 is the graphics are way more detailed. In Crisis 2. I'd say that both games have, you know, advantage and advantages and disadvantages. Um, I notice when you run out of um, cloak energy and energy in general just by running, you slow right down. Where that doesn't happen in Crisis 3. There's my first kill. I do. I don't do too badly in this map. Which I'm like MVP in this match, which for me is, uh, you know, it's not very often, but. I think my Crisis 3 experience, because this was a, like a game for beginners really, so you know, it's, not, it's no beast gameplay by any means, but when you're below the level 10, like in Crisis 3, you can join, you know, a novice game. So I cheated I suppose a little bit, because I'm a level 44 in Crisis 3, you know, you, you get to level 44 after playing it for a bit, you know, and it's, but one thing I want to say about both games, it's not just really good graphics and really good great gameplay, it's fantastic atmosphere as well you know it's futuristic without being too futuristic and that is exactly what i love you know because if they did a battlefield 4 set slightly in the future with the weapons that are okay weapons that don't exist but they still look like they still look the part and these they act like real weapons no not these these big dafty fancy bloody you know laser weapons they're, they're shit them they're not i mean excuse me friend, they're not very good but uh, the guns in this game, okay, they don't they don't really exist. But I suppose they're based on real real weapons, which is what makes them realistic for me. Anyway, this is I forget the name of the map. You know, I'm, I'm still learning the map names. I'm not new to this, but uh, I urge anybody who likes shooters to, you know, realize there's life beyond Call of Duty. All right. I mean, I've sick to the back teeth of telling people how good Battlefield 3 is. Um, I've been playing video games for a long time and, and I know a good game when I see one. When, I, when I've got that control in my hands, I really I can tell when programmers have really put a lot into a game. You know, I mean, the, the guys who make the Call of Duty franchise, they, they don't have to put much effort in because they know it's sell. So they don't bother changing it. But then again, if it's not broken, you don't try and fix it, do you? <coughs> but um, I noticed with Crisis 2 and Crisis 3, nobody, had, not many people are playing. And I urge you to get this game and give it a try. It, it is, it's out of this world. It, it's, it's really, really good. If you like shooters and you, you want to some, try something different, I mean, there's um, a level on here called Terminal. And you want to see that the graphics are absolutely amazing the lights shining in through the roof and it's just stunning i couldn't recommend these two games highly enough now i can't recommend crisis one because i've never played the damn thing but that's going to happen sooner or later you know i believe you can't play multiplayer you don't stand out in the open sun that's what happens <laughs> mind you i'd fall for that trick where i stand out in the open and end up getting shot being outnumbered but, uh, what was I going to say? Crisis 1, I believe from Ridden Works, my gaming buddy, that he's got the game and, and he says the, the servers are not active for Crisis 1. So, uh, I don't know the, true, the, the full extent of the story is there, but obviously the, the servers for Crisis 2 are still going. And uh, I urge other people to get into this game, it is awesome. But as with Crisis 3, you can have games where you're plowing all your magazine plus all your handgun bullets into them and they turn around and one shot you with a pistol. And that's down to your connection, I think. Like in this game, obviously, see how quick I'm dropping my opponents. I've had games last night where I fired for three times as long as that on somebody and still didn't win the gunfight. So that is one criticism I find with the Crisis series. 
you know, it might just be me simply being inaccurate, but I doubt it. When you can fire for three times as long and you still don't put your enemy down, whereas you can see how quick I'm putting these enemies down. And this is playing no better than they normally do. So there's an issue there, I think. And let me know in the comments if you agree. So I'm out in the open, which is where you don't want to be. But actually, I've unlocked the maximum nano suit because of a. I've been tearing up the opposition. As I say, it was a good game for me, this. But anyway, I'll let you uh, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. See you later. Yeah, they're close, all right. I'm reloading. Kill them all!
was too close for comfort there. Good job, gentlemen. As always, don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. This is Penby66, signing off.